EA Sports. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? Hi right, lads, we return for a fourth episode of this new season of our player career mode. We're actually nearly, I think we're over halfway through the season, but we're like three quarters of the way through. I think we should probably make it through on five episodes. But yeah, we start off with Plymouth in the FA Cup. It's actually a replay because in the last episode, I neglected to show it. It was like one of them games. We drew 1-1 one, one at home with like the best team on the game against Plymouth. So I was frustrated. I ignored it. Doesn't really matter. But in different news, we have actually signed a new player to the club. Nice. Um, in the January transfer window, how do I have a look? There we go. Um, sort it by rating. Yeah, we signed Gabriel from Arsenal, I believe. I don't. I think he still played for Arsenal on this. A decent sign, to be fair. Centre back, not really a position we're looking at strengthening, but we do play a back five. So Kukurea was playing there for quite a while. And a little bit smaller, and we've signed Harry the Go Maguire. I have a really bad feeling about this. Now, all my days, I didn't even know that. I've just seen him, and I wouldn't have missed that originally. But uh, really, we could have looked for some more wide players as Neymar's sort of declining, had a difficult season. I'm just having a quick halfway point look at the team so far this season. So obviously, we're the top scorer for the team. 13 33. Not the best record, to be fair, but obviously, in the league, we're playing out of our skin. Champions League, not too bad. Uh, Dembele's had a very good season, well, 25 countries in 32 games very good for a wide player especially um, assist wise fantastic Dylan's been alright played a bit less games obviously Neymar took quite a lot at the start of the season because he's this I think he's higher rated than Sterling or he was Reese James has been good Dillett's been good Sula's been good Chilwell's been good you know Havertz has been Havertz had how is he 89 rated lads it's one of life's mysteries sir who at EA realises that Havertz is not going to make it as a player because he's got stupid potential. I know he's like 23 and he's just joined Arsenal for 70 million. It's bang average. And then there's Aussie men. We're keeping Aussie men out of the team. We're not just keeping out the team, we're destroying him. But yeah, it is what it is. We'll start with the first game anyway. Sim against Plymouth. You know if it's not a win, I'm retiring. Well, oh my days. We've nearly lost that game to Plymouth. We've won on penalties 5-4. I don't know if you can see it. It's quite small on the screen. Well, I'm guessing your screen. But yeah, right up into scoring for them. Sterling scores in the 19th. We score in the 68. Vane, Wayne, how you pronounce it, scores in the 87th. Uh, we do score a penalty, then Bailey misses it, but that doesn't matter. Then Bailey's a baller. Then they miss two to finish off why James scores. But what is going on, lads? Like, seriously, that is really, really poor. And then Neymar finally steps up to get his first league goal of the season. Then misses a penalty just after. We weren't entirely match fit. We played the full game, got a 7.4, which isn't too bad. We could have won the penalty, for example. But um, we're looking a lot more solid at the back in the league, especially with the new signing of Gabriel, as he signed a few games who I just didn't realise. Um, but yeah, the midfield, it's really weird. He's, he, for some reason, Lampard, I mean, it's Lampard, so that's probably why. He's playing Havertz as a box-to-box -box central midfielder, along with Fabio Vieira, so there's not really much cover in there. Um, not really much cover in the club, to be fair, in central midfield. I think that's why Havertz is playing there. Uh, but yeah, not a bad result nonetheless. We've got one more game to sim, and then we're into the played ones against Newcastle and Liverpool, I want to say. Yes, that's correct, that's correct. So I know it's a pretty big game to sim, but it's the first leg of the Champions League knockout rounds against Losk Lille. Um, Dembele and myself score again. We open the score on the 28th. Dembele scores 50 minutes after the restart. And Fran Garcia now of Real Madrid in real life. Very good left back, to be fair, from what I've seen very quick. Um, getting off topic. But yeah, he scored in the 68th. We do get a deserved victory, to be fair. Stats-wise, we get twice as many shots, three times as many chances, and we get man of the match 8.6. It's not bad to start the episode off, guys, as we move on into the Newcastle game. Very, very difficult opposition, of course. And back-to-back. -back. We've got Liverpool next. After that, it's going to be a difficult little runner for. Ladies and gentlemen, it's match day. It's going to be difficult clash at Stamford Bridge this one guys obviously Newcastle are a very good team in real life not quite on form in this game of this season but uh, should be a difficult game nonetheless all right come on lads good start is what I anticipate Newcastle I say have very good players but we have better ones that is a bad start from me though go on go on straight from kickoff look how quick we are that's Tereri Correa we get past him like a breeze can we get past the keeper one nil inside four minutes Perfect start, and uh, you can't really ask for a much better start than that. Brilliant stuff, 1-0 Chelsea, down the line. Nicolas Gonzalez, brilliant play, pulls it back, Levaya forces a good save from Merek. We're still clunky though, aren't we? Even with 99 dribbling. We do turn away from my man though. Good play there, good play. Ah, oh, you played the wrong pass there. I think I'm offside, it's a bad ball anyway. Cleared away only as far as Gonzalez. Oh, that's a bad challenge. Oh dear. Oh, have I not been booked for that? That is a woeful challenge. So uh, Newcastle get a free kick. I'm a little bit worried about free kicks on this game because they do just tend to score him an ultimate with every single chance. He's hit the post. Oh my days. Bruno is so unlucky there. 
Count our lucky stars that he's missed that. Oh, thought I had it then. Right, we've got a bit of pace on this. I can feel it. For God's sake, Akanji's horrible to play against. Should be the final highlight though, guys. Difficult first half to get into. We did score, obviously. We burned Thierry Correa of Valencia on the right-hand side, but very difficult start. You know, it, it, that, we, we're still winning. That's all that matters. Play that through. Well, that is a brilliant pass. Straight through the heart of the Newcastle defence. Can we beat the keeper? The ball's 2 nil ahead. Yes, we can. Way, way, way too easy. And that is our second goal of the game. Brilliant start to the second half. Newcastle look on the ropes. Good pass, very good pass. Oh my God, Delitz made a woeful mistake. Brilliantly saved by Alex Mere there. I mean, it was a weird save, but still a good save nonetheless. We flick it on for Sterling, who takes a woeful touch. We've still got the ball somehow. We're going to get past the Kanji, though, like he's not even there. Chance to shoot, to get a hat trick. That should be way better with five star week foot, and I have been booked. Deservedly so, I'd say, but it is what it is. Seven point four, guys. I'm not being funny. I'm on a seven point four in the top corner, and I've got three goals. It just doesn't quite add up to me. But we do get the three nil victory um, at the end of the game. And yet again, though, seven point four with three goals. Look at me, literally collecting the match ball. I've literally got it in my hand, and I've got a seven point four. But still, good win against Newcastle. We've got Liverpool next. Let's get another win. All right, this one's the first one of back to back games against Merseyside Red. So uh, this one's in the league we're gonna play. This one we've got the cup one next, which is a bad cup draw. It's Liverpool at Anfield. Horrible place to go. We should get a uh, difficult game ahead of us. Oh, it's nice football. Nice football. Go on. F Ref, that's got me a pen. That's got me a pen. What a terrible challenge by Dallo. If I don't get this, I'm calling. I'm calling Frank Lampard. A silly boy. Oh, that's not a foul. That is not a foul. That is the dive of the century. This high score penalty is when you're cool under pressure. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's doing it me! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! Oh. oh no, that's not. That's really, really not. Not a good look, that. Um, nil nil at half time, we have missed a penalty. I thought I'd be clever and chip it down the middle, but even the best fail when they're trying to succeed. Um, yeah, not great. Well played. well played, that's what I like to see. Right, we've got past him. We've finally got past him. Man, Alisson makes a decent enough save. Right, good ball in is what we need. And that is a woeful ball. We flick it on though, Alisson again. Doesn't actually save it, but yeah, should probably do better there. It's a decent effort from Delit, but obviously he's a centre-back. He's probably not going to score from there in a million years. I think he saved that. that really are better than that. Liverpool, chance to take the lead against the run of play. And they do just that. Paolo Di Bala, what a signing that is, by the way. Goes to celebrate with big Jürgen himself and Liverpool take an undeserved 1-0 lead. How has that pass got through? Ah, oh, Frank Lampard, your tactics are boring. Liverpool have outplayed us. They've just been a lot smarter. Look at the state of Chilwell's pressing. We're in, we're in the 95th minute at this stage. He's gonna blow the whistle now anyway when we're on the attack. What a terrible, terrible game of football. I want to see the match ratings for our team in that one because they just weren't good enough. They just didn't do what they meant to do. We got 6.7, which was pretty much one of the highest on the team. Delit had a very good game in all fairness. Even Liverpool players, they won the game and still the highest rate player was Alisson because he made three saves. Like, what an atrocious game of football that was. Unfortunately, guys, for this game against Liverpool away in the cup, I mean, we do get retribution, we do get a good result, but we were substituted. Well, we weren't even substituted, we were just weren't started. We came in the 59th for our boys, Mano Dembele, our dynamic duo partner. We did score in the 68th, though, to rub it in on Lampard, who I think is a terrible manager, especially on this game. Havertz then scored to make it two, and Gakpo scored to give Liverpool a little bit of hope. But it's a good result, but... Like, why does Lampard not rate me? And the same thing has happened in this game against Leicester. I was going to play the game, but he's literally, he's dropping me. I've been dropped from the side. And like, we've lost 3-2 to Leicester with three shots, three chances. I've come on and scored, made an impact. And he keeps starting. I was a man who's not even scored. He scored one league goal all season. Why we come on and score and have like a decent impact. We get the second highest rated on the team. 
after Fabio Vieira, who got substituted. Like, it's, I mean, and that's what I came on for. It's absolutely baffling. This man is a manager. He's such a moron. Here we are, guys, in the second leg against Los Lildo. We're actually starting this game after two dropped appearances. I'm still not happy about them. But yeah, difficult game ahead. So, unfortunately, due to time constraints, it's a match highlight sim. I know I like to play three games an episode, guys, but I'm really struggling to get them all out at the moment. But I still think we can have a decent impact in a game like this. I think we can actually have a couple of goals as well. As we start with a chance, we slot it past E.K. Villar, um, the Spanish goalkeeper, make it 1-0 in the 14th minute, the, well, the famous trademark backbreak celebration, and we lead him 1-0. Oh, nice. I love it when you just get a penalty. I mean, I'm terrible at penalties in real life and on FIFA, so, you know, I like to see it. I am going to go um, right. Right, I'm going to go right. I feel it. Oh my God, I went straight down middle. That was a very fortunate penalty. Um, yeah, we scored it. 2 0. Nice to see. Knockout celebration as well. To say we've been dropped, we've come back to good form. Right, unfortunately, we couldn't get any more highlights after that. We do get a 2 0 victory, though, nonetheless. Decent result. But, like, the chances I'm getting, the team, they just mess them up. They're a bunch of morons. But, yes, a decent 2 0 victory. We win 4 1 and I get perfect 10 rating again. Can't ask for much more. Two more sims to finish off on and then we're on to the finale, hopefully. Unfortunately, guys, we are out of the FA Cup. It's sort of what I wanted. That's why I decided not to play because I know I was going for a trophy at the start of the season, but we've got a better chance for in the Champions League with playing every game and potentially the Premier League as Arsenal beat us 2-1. Sula opens the score in the 16th minute. Saka scores in the 28th and Martin gets to win in the 56th. It's not the end of the world, but like, it's a poor team performance again. And um, I mean, just focus on the Premier League now, guys, because that's and, and the Champions League. That's all I've really got. And you know what, guys, that's a decent episode uh, in general. A 1 0 win to finish off. Chilwell opens the score in the sixth minute, and that's all she wrote. Um, a lot of chances, to be fair. Eight shots, five chances. We had a lot more possession. It was quite embarrassing, to be fair. More of a training game, really. We got 6.8. So did Dembele. We've sort of both dropped off a little bit recently. Dembele, especially, hasn't been great. But yeah, that's a, a good end to a very weird episode. And that's sort of summarised by a weird um, position in the table. So 12 points behind Man City, that ship's sort of sailed by now. Um, Liverpool as well, obviously played one extra game. We can we can catch them quite easily. But yeah, it's been one of them weird episodes, guys. Um, I don't really know what to say about it. To lead us into the finale as well, where we've got nine Premier League games to play. I think we're sort of out of that. So I'm just going to focus on the Champions League games um, for now at the very least. But it is what it is. We're still scoring. But to finish off the episode, we'd have a little international break, which we decided not to show. Only friendlies, guys, because we don't have qualifiers on this because it's not FM because it's not very good. But uh, yeah, we did score in both. Then we scored in the win against Canada 1-0 away and we scored in the Polish game. We scored one in a 2-0 victory. But coming up, guys, we've got, I think, the season finale. Maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, Man United and AC Milan to start off with. I don't think it can because there's too many games to get through in that little area there. We've got, obviously, Aston Villa. We've got AC again. We've got City, Southampton and West Ham. I think got Arsenal Palace. Norwich and Everton and hopefully obviously a semi-final but yeah it's a bit of a weird one we can't really not play them games so I might just have to do an extended six episodes but yeah it's all, all she wrote guys good episode for us in general difficult weird sort of hard to justify and quantify how we did in the episode just pretty mid but yeah right. thanks for watching guys I appreciate it as always please like and subscribe and comment if you haven't already and I'll catch you on another channel very very soon thank you very much guys cheers